Hey, people. I just did a movie, and I was so close up here in Genesis 1, I thought I'd go back up and read the top. And it hit me. You know, it was kind of embarrassing. It took this many years to catch it. But it plainly says in receipt. You know, if you just remove this B up here and just read this receipt and, and read this B as an N, you see the same thing in the Greek. That's why in the Greek, when I see the N-E, I turn it into a B. But this is E-N-I-N-N. -N. And you read it right here, you know, in receipt bear all of him at has him, him what hearts. In, in the receipt, a piece of paper in your pocket or the the recipe to bear all him at has him has him him that everybody who has him what hearts what loves and so it's a writing you know in in the recipe to bear all of him at what the writer loves all of him is um, him what hearts but you're missing the first part of this book, you know. It's just starting down here. It's still in a dedication. You know, the beginning of this, it had a, another word up here. And it's the sperm. S-P-R-M-O-S-E. The spermos bear has it. The, the sperm in receipt it. To my children. The sperm has in receipt it. You know, the sperm as of receive. And, and so it's to my children. It's the dedication. You know, they call this the Torah. They say it's the law. You know, and the law is the basic parts of a book for thousands of years. You know, first comes the title page. And they didn't have a copyright page because people that could read could just look at the handwriting. They knew the scribe that wrote it. And so before the body, you got a title page and a dedication acknowledgement and forward. So the title, the dedication acknowledgements and forwards are all in these two words in these first two lines. And then the day doesn't start until the third line. And so this first word is the, the Torah of Victable Boonies. Torah of Victable Boonies. And they'll say, the tour is the law. And it means the same thing then that it, that it does now. You know, you go out on tour. You know, before you got detoured, removed from your tour, you know, what you were doing before the detour, the place you were going. And the, the tour evictable means the same thing in every language, any which way you cut this down. In the Hebrew, they say the table is the world. And vic is vector. It's an arrow out. And, and the vic is when you're telling the dog to get out, that pose that you're using. You stand upright and point out, you know, a vic. That's what that means. You know, evict, evictable, they'll say in Latin, able is with the ability to be, to be evicted. You know, if something's delectable you know it's it's delicious and so that means that it's not d not lectable and it means you know something i could do without electable you know evict is to force somebody out and evictable is you they have the ability to be forced out it means i don't care for you i could do without you and so, you know, it would mean, you know, the, the table, the world, and the back, the back world, and boonies. And boonies is the god of ash, yes, and the boonies, and, and I could do without my boonies, the tour of the city, uh, the tour of Victable that I could do without my boonies, the tour of the city, the sperm of the sperm whose have receipt of of my bloodline the sperm whose have receipt so i haven't seen anywhere anybody try to interpret this you know but the this word here the tour if it wasn't there then it, it would be the back world boonies 
but when you put this here it changes it you know this is now the subject you know the the tour is is a verb and the tour is the subject you know so it's the the tour of the big city I can do it out my boonies it's all paved and it's ancient knowledge you know you walk into the bar while you're looking at her tits she's looking at your shoes and sometimes you went on tour somewhere where you had to wear your boots but they went out of the way to show the feet and all the old artwork and it means the city you know they took some time to make this big old ugly foot here just to show that it was a tour of the city you know when you put on fancy footwear that's what it means is I ain't going out in the boonies and they went all out in Egypt just to let everybody know that and they'll say that this is the book of SPR the cipher and they'll say this is Moses M-O-S-E except all the way through the Bible they won't spell Moses like that they'll say that that's the base of the work and the book from the work in receipt and so the book you know the book is the bloodline the sperm of whose receipt you know the book of whom's receipt so all over the walls in Egypt you know they have this list of kings the sperm who's in receipt you know the book but before that you know it was a story to tell how the kings got there and so the beginning of the story starts with the gods and how they created the world you know the gods and their effigies and their epithages and their edge you know three words I would have never known what they meant you know they're all come from the earth and the edge is the story and the effigy is their resemblance and their epithage is their manner so it's the tour of the city and the sperm most have receipt and so most you know because some of them got erased like he's making fun of them there you know you know the book that most have receipt the sperm most have receipt in receipt bear all them at has em, him what hearts where it's height to of who which cycle upon you know what loves where it's height to the shape of who which cycle upon the tomb of the deep the shape from you know to um, the shape from where which all him more heaped and more heaped all upon him you know with men more Egyptian word for higher higher more put more on top of it and more heaped all upon him him and so, you know, what he loved is where it's height to of who, which cycle upon, and it's the high time, and, and which goes around to him where which all him more heaped all upon the mem, the mammaries, the big tits, and, and more heaped on all upon him. But the clue of what he loves over here, the hearts, clue is in the forbidden fruit you know that's the first commandment you know every tree of the garden freely you may eat was is from call the oxygen a call a call to sell collect to sell not freely you may eat but they were gonna collect all the oxygen to a call to sell and and max the most of but the tree and and Max had it the tuber you know the root the good of good and evil the the tuber and so you know tuber is the feet of the god ash you know god ash is a tree and the tuber is at the feet of god and so in the egyptian story it's written as max where your word mat comes from and it's the truth that's at the feet of God. You know, the knowledge of good and evil. But the knowledge is to edit. And so if you have the knowledge to edit, then, you know, the, the tuber to let a cull menu. And you can eat from if you have the knowledge. And so the knowledge is edit. 
And so this is giving the knowledge of edit here. You see they're not covered with fig leaves yet. And so the knowledge of edit is if you're going to trim the roots off the plant, you got to trim some of the top too or you're going to kill the plant. And so this is your clue right here. He knows, you know, see where it's been edited, the knowledge, the edit. You see it in all this artwork. He's, this is when he caught him, you know, oh, you done edited this plant over here. And to edit the tuber, all oh, it's a column in here, a key. And biome, a clock. A menu, moody moot. And biome, a clock. Biome, the time from the menu. You know, the writings of moody moot. You know, the double T. M-U-T-T -T is a tie. And the moody moot. Oh, Oh, gangster word for shut him up, make him moody moot. You know, and max, no more. Max, you're at your maximum. And max edit. And, you know, the day that you eat of it and, and then will be opened your eyes and you will be like God is, is Michael. You know, Michael means the one like God. But it's, it's more like why it mocks. It mock all him and mock like God and it mock all him a day a day you know that's so when you're mocking God you're speaking this way a day and that's old British you know short for good day and it's a good day a good day a two burrow you know that's where you find tubers is you got to dig in the tuber to burrow. So all the ancient philosophers was looking for the meaning of life and what they found out is you don't know what the meaning of life is until you know what the meaning of death is. You forgot that when you was born. And so the trick to the meaning of life is to learn what death is again. And so they would take drugs to simulate death. And so they would make these drugs out of the tubers, the let it the, the tuber. And, uh, and they would make dyes to dye their clothes out of it, to dye the king's purples and reds and blues. And that's when they found out, you know, that uh, it's a drug and it simulates death, the knowing of good and evil. So you take this drug and you see the other side, but when you come back, you don't make a good slave anymore. Then you're like God. You know, I'm not a slave anymore. I know good and evil. And so that's why the word die, D-I-E and D-Y-E, die, are the same word. It's the same word, the yod. It could be a Y or an I. And so they started the 13th company to keep an eye on the dyers. And you could tell when somebody was edging because it was usually a hippie and his shirt looked like this after he strained the dye out. This wasn't a style. This was a byproduct of making drugs. And so that's what all these writings on the wall in Egypt were about. And the kings that got rubbed off, they tried to put their name down at the foot. They tried to add themselves in. And it says it clearly in here. And that was, you know, knowing the good and evil. They were evil, so they were kicked off. But they tried to put their name back on to let it to burrow. They tried to put their name back on the bottom. And so there's no truth to that either. That's just part of the story. Just telling you, you know, that the, you know, the Zulu was the mark of the footnote. So these writings weren't spread across the wall. It was in secret down at the footnote. You had to know the Zulu mark to go down and, and read the secrets. And that's why you see all them tombs in Egypt. They destroy all the floors and all everything from the knees down because that was the earth where under the foot where all the writings were because they were quite skilled in all the sciences and chemical warfare and drugs. I'm going to cut this off here. Good day. Mm -hmm.